Hello, good evening. Uh, AO3. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Five things. What yeah. about you? Ah, fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, excellent. Enthusiastic. I've been at home all day long <laughs> because uh, I didn't went to the office today because of the they gave us the day. So I was preparing your material and your classes for today. Uh, so good. Everybody's good coming. Everybody's coming. So as I promised, today we're going to uh, review about the topics that you're going to do on on your tasks on the platform but it doesn't mean no significa that we will not have class on monday everybody has to be here from monday to tuesday in order to finish the programs yeah All right okie dokie so it's uh i came a o three yeah but let's let's Ooh. start. Let's give a uh, one minute uh, because we cannot wait uh, too much time uh, to the rest of the people to come. The weather has been kind of uh, kind of uh, cloudy, but it's still hot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a little winning, but still hot yeah it's windy it has been windy but it's still hot i i got my puppy uh, for a walk a uh, bunny and it was uh it was really nice it was kind of feeling the the spirit of christmas i guess right <laughs> yes well what are the rest of the people i said mr lopez is always late so i'll be late today so we are only seven <laughs> well eight with me Maybe they are coming. Yeah. Yeah, the issue is that uh, we cannot wait too much. Okay, guys, so let's start. Okay, as I said, this is class number 12. Okay. And this is one of the topics for next week. But uh, um, this class is because I want to help you in order to do your tasks, you know, where your exams, your midterm, your exercises, and your final test in order to review for it, okay? So today's class, I will need fully participation. I will, maybe there will not be time to send you to, um, to chat rooms and definitely will not be time, but, uh, next week, we will have plenty of time. And I want you to participate. I don't know what's the, we okay. only nine. Okay. So what is the, what is the unit? Unit 15, what would you do? What would you do if you have a lot of money? Hmm. <laughs> Imagine what I will do. Travel okay. around the world. Uh -huh. And what would you do, Don Antonio? Juan Antonio, if oh. you have a lot of money. Well, I think um, get a more uh, better home. Okay, okay, good. I would pay my and, debt. <laughs> pay yeah, my debt. I, I would yeah. like um, uh, go to my uh, uh, child. Ah, to, okay. To uh, retire. Okay. Yeah, to study um, ah. some um, travel a lot. I, travel a lot. Good, uh, yeah. Okay, it's good. good. Okay, Thank good, you. Tony. Thank you. So today, uh, the topics it will be money, hubs, predicaments, and speculations. Okay. Ah, uh, man, I wouldn't like to talk about money, but we do. We have to do it. Okay. Um, Okay, so there is a conversation over there. And what do you see on the picture? Okay, there are a couple of 
of young people talking about uh, uh, okay. lottery. Okay, thank you, Don Julio. Thank, thank you. Okay, who else? Who the else? People are drinking coffee, I guess. Okay, the two people are drinking coffee. Thank you, Sarai. Good, excellent. Thank you. Good, Don Julio. And what else? <clears throat> Don Vicente was thank you, Don Vicente. I always change your name. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and who else? Yeah, I know. Uh huh. And who else would like to say about the the woman the and the and the picture and the woman and they are thinking of what is the woman doing? A volunteer, uh -huh. another volunteer. What is she doing? She says, "I got your fortune." Ah, okay. So, uh, let's see what it is. People. It's a casino. Uh -huh. It might be a casino. Let's see what are people are talking about. Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Uh, one more time. So they are reading the newspaper. And practice. Okay, let's see. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. <laughs> if I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. One minute. Just one minute, one minute, one minute. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, so they are um let me let me play. I missed the part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, Maria Jose, what is the topic discussion that they have in your own words? Um, the topic? Yeah, the topic discussion. What are they discussing about it? Um, they discussing about of money, mm -hmm. and and she try look in the casinos and okay. I I think she wins money. 
Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Maria Jose. And uh, Claudia Maria, what else? What else is the topic discussion that they have? So, I think they were reading um, something in the newspaper about a guy who found 750,000 dollars. Okay. And return it. And, and they were like, imagine what they can do if they uh, found it. They will uh, found it. Okay, we good. Th it. Thank you very much. What else, Wendy? Thank <laughs> okay. you very much. Well done. Uh, Wendy, what else? They are talking about uh, returning the phone. Uh -huh. uh, seven fifteen thousand dollars And honestly is the person oh okay they are talking about their honesty yes yeah. good yes good thank you very much uh, well done okay and what will happen to her uh jennifer mouse said if she kept the money and not returning if the police found out jennifer mouse said hi uh -huh. i'm sorry uh -huh. Uh, what will happen to her if uh, she kept the money for herself, if uh, she found out? If she found, found, found the money, but she doesn't return it, what, what, what does Lou say that will happen to her? I don't know. At the end of the conversation, uh, Wendy, the, Lou says you might also you may also lose it all uh -huh. uh, in a day. Uh -huh. and, and they then could, you could go to hell. Uh -huh. uh, she could okay. go to jail, right? Because of not returning. So, uh, what is the what is the learning objective of the of the of the conversation, Don Luis Alfredo Aguilar? Uh, the objective is practice a conversation about honesty, see mm -hmm. real conditional sentence with it, clause okay. in, clauses in context. Clauses in context. And real yes. situations. A real situations are imaginary situations. Because uh, uh, Kay said, "Oh, imagine if I found that money, I will take it. I will go. I will keep it, and I will go to the casino, and I might double." So she's uh, talking about sit uh, situation that has not happened. It's unreal. It's an imaginary situation. So let's see what is this uh, about it. Okay. So for example, it says. What it says over there, everybody? Unreal conditional sentence with of clause with if that is the if that, that is the condition in English. What is the condition in English? What word is it? What is the the word that expresses condition in English? If if if. If I go, if I see, uh, well, there are uh, like three or four real condi condi uh, conditional sentences, but uh, this time we're going, we are practicing, we are going to talk about imaginary situation. If I have a lot, if I had a lot of money, I will travel around the world. Okay. So it says, let me, so it says, everybody, unreal conditional. Unreal conditional sentence, describe imaginary, imaginary situations situation and consequence in the present. In the present. So let's see over there. Page 93, exercise three, grammar focus. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations and consequences in the present. 
What would you do if you found $750,000? Imaginary situation with simple past forms. If I found $750,000. Imaginary consequence with modals would, might, or could. I wouldn't return it so fast. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. If I found $750,000, I might go to Las Vegas. If I found $750,000, I could double it in a casino. If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the police. If I I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the police. So the question, Jennifer Mouse said, what is the question? Jennifer, only read the question, this one. Eugenio? I'll only read the question. What is the question? I'm driving. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Bye bye. I'm driving. Okay, bye bye. Uh, Brenda, what is the question? Sorry, Mister. I am. Ah, okay. What ah, okay. would you do if you found? Okay. Seven... $750,000. Okay. Okay. Wendy? Uh-huh. Uh Wendy, read the imaginary. Imaginary situation with simple past form. Uh, simple plan form. Read the read the 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 clause over there. If if I found seven $50,000. If I found $50,000. So the imaginary situation with the simple past forms is with the if clause. If I had, if I found, if I won, if I play, if I spoke English. Okay. So all of the verbs after if goes into the simple past tense. If I spoke good English, I will be the president of the United States. <laughs> that's that's a, that's a, that's something else, okay? okay. Uh, uh, that's something else. Uh, Cecilia Antonio, read that one. Uh, what uh huh. Just read, imaginary consequences. Imaginary consequences with, with moldans, world, might, my, or I, call. Or could, yes. Imaginary, when we, for example, if I, I just said, if I spoke English, I will be the president of the United States. That will be an imaginary situation. First of all, I am Salvadorian. I'm not American, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's my that's imagine. Yeah, yeah, that's a big situation. If if I had a heavy driver's license, I would drive a big truck. Imaginary situation, consequences, because it's not part. So, for example, if I didn't study, we will see an exercise like that. If I, if I didn't study, I wouldn't pass the test. So, so in the imaginary situations, I use would, might, or could, plus the simple form of the verb. Wouldn't return, might go, could double, would go, okay? Okay, 
Recuerden que siempre de un auxiliary verb en, en a good Spanish, en el, eh, siempre de un a model usamos verbo en su forma simple. For example, let me um, erase that one. I don't know how to, oh, it's already, no. Okay. Eh, for example, it says, but if, what would be the word over there? Do you remember the conversation? Yes. Uh huh. What would be on the over there? If, if I, I found, if I found, found thank, a seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Thank you, Don Julio. Someone else. No, I'm not Don Julio. Ah, Don David <laughs> Vicente. I'm sorry. I <laughs> Don't worry, teacher. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't I would. return. Thank I you. Return uh, okay, yeah. someone else. Because I need them more than the other person. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Someone else. I would. Uh, uh, I that 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 would be I would yes I use the contraction the contracted form over there but it says so fast I would si, go si out. Dollars, no los re yes okay so fast uh -huh. I, I, would, I I would spend no 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 you know I wouldn't return it I no, I would not. No, but I says I would return. I probably it. go out and start uh, spending it. I could, I could buy a lot, a lot of clothes. clothes. Okay. Ajá, maldito bastardo so, es lo que haría yo. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, because watch out no, with your. <laughs> watch out with your language, please. Your, your language. Ah, pues sí, están viendo lo eso, eso están viendo ahorita lo la la la. ¿Qué es lo que te dije? Lo los. Press major, microphone. Press your microphone, please. The microphone. Todo eso son el cool, el cool. Oh my god. Ah, help me out, support over there. Mister, help me with your mic. No es, no es. Su micrófono está abierto. May, May, no es que el micrófono está abierto. I can find it. Okay, now yes. Yeah, okay. Man, what a mess. I'm sorry. Well, don't worry. Maybe that. he's not in class. No, he's not part of the team. He's not part of the someone. Okay. Okay. So um so th there are two types of verb forms when we use it uh clauses like this. One is, for example, the what it will simple verb. Uh -huh. The simple verb in the main clause. Okay. Found. So, found. Remember, if I found, if I had, if I spoke, okay? If I found money, if I had a lot of money, if I spoke English, if I won the lottery. So that will be the first clause, okay? And the second one, a model bird in the main clause with an a model or an auxiliary bird. Okay, that would be would. would. If I spoke English, I will be the president of the United States, for example. Or I will find a, a great a good job, job. A good job. Okay. If I had a lot of money, I will buy a house. Or I might remember that I can say I could, I might, or and I would. Okay. And uh, and then it says, what it says, for example, if I have, if I have fifty thousand dollars, I might, I might travel around, travel the, world. around the, world. the world. Okay, so the 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 situation is unreal. 
because it's an imaginary. And the yeah. consequence is unreal also. That's why I use my, could, or would, okay? Plus, uh, plus the simple form of the verb, okay? So that's the thing over there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was sexy. Now, other more examples. What it says over there? Open the open the microphones and read. If I have if I have this number, this number, I might call him. If I have this number, I might call him. And the other is. If, if she, she were rich, 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 she could, could travel, travel over all over the world. The world. Over, uh, okay. Over Rem the world. Remember that when we use uh, simple past tense of so the verb be, we say I, he, she was. Okay. Yes. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. But uh, with an, real, uh, an imaginary situation, we don't say she was. We say she were. I wear. If I were the president of uh, uh, Coquitos Country, I will make people rich. Okay. If I were the president, I can ask because I can say if I was the president, but that will be very informal. Academically speaking, will be not correct. Okay. So I had to say if I were. Where, if she, where, where, okay, no was. So if they, if they were. I mean, if that, that's no problem. But uh, uh, we use where with all the subjects. I, he, she, okay. it, you, they were, in mm -hmm. unreal situations. Only in unreal situations. Uh huh. And then I said. This is a question. Would you, Would go, to you the go, party go to the party if they, they invited, invited you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Would you go? Still se me olvidó marcar este. Would you go to the party, the party if they invited you? So the simple past tense is after the condition, the condition if. Another over there is a question. What, what would, would you, you do, do if you, you won the lottery? Okay. So mm -hmm. remember, look. If, if I, I were, were you, you, I, I would wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Okay. Look, I said, if I were you, no, if I was you. Okay. If I were you, uh huh, I wouldn't do that. Okay. So those are the things that, yeah, right. uh, let me see here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, there you have some exercises. I think I love, yeah, you, you got it on the worksheet that I sent you over there. Let's do number one together. If I have enough money, I buy a jack. A jack. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What will be the, the the unreal conditional situation over there? If I had. If I, if I have had enough money. Enough money. I both. I will buy a jack. I will. I will buy a jack. You see, a uh, condition, simple pass, a con, a um, uh, imaginary situation. Okay, the main clause and the uh, Im imaginary, imaginary uh, consequence. Okay. Because this is imaginary, it's not real. And anything that we're talking over here is imaginary situation. But in fact, there is a song, a really nice song that I like it. If God were, were a person, what will he be? 
like something like that. That's a very nice song. Okay, I think we have enough time. Let me see how many slides I have 11 and we are six. Okay. I'll give you like two minutes and, and do as many sentences as you can on your material, please. And what will be number two? And then lo dejo hacer el resto. Okay. Uh, Don, Lu uh, Don Luis? Yes, teacher, yes. Uh, what will be number two? Ah, the number two. He, uh, be he happy. Were, ah, he, he, he will, um, will be. Okay, if it will, will be. Why do we use, uh, we say will be and not, uh, B or he wear and uh, finish first, Don Riz, and then uh, what it will be the other? Uh, he, he will be happy if if you, uh huh, if you want, if you want. If uh, you want. Here we had the condition. And remember that after the condition, a simple form of the verb or simple pass of the verb? Simple pass. Simple pass. pass. Yes, simple pass. And that will be if you dance. With dance. Him. That's dance with him. Dancing. Uh -huh. He will be happy if you dance with him. Okay, let's do the other ones. If they drank something, they will drink a good coffee. Uh huh. They drank they... something, they will drink a good coffee. A good coffee. I changed the sentence. <laughs> I changed the sentence. Okay, if if they drank something, they will drink drink. I'm sorry, a good coffee. If she had a car. Ah, okay. She, if she had a car. She, she had tra tra traveling. She or, would. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, would. Uh, she will travel, travel to the beach. Good. Okay. And let me ask Claudia Maria. If you run, Claudia I tell somebody who. Ah. Uh -huh. If you. If you run the uh -huh. bell. The bell. Somebody. Somebody will answer. With answer, yes. Uh, Wendy, Lisette. It will be. Nice. If you love me. Uh -huh, love me. It will be nice if you love me. So those are the conditional. So, but the second practice that you have over there is this one. Uh, Maria Jose, what will be the uh, number one from the practice two? If the water got uh -huh, good, excellent. Got I will put I will put on, on, on a scarf. On a scar. I will put on an scar. Uh, Jennifer, the question. Mouset. 
Okay. Lo siento, me cuesta mucho. I don't, no le hace, no le hace. La try. Sí. So remember that there is not a condition over there, first of all, Jennifer and everybody. So the question you start with the condition. Uh, with, the, with, the, with the model verb, with the auxiliary verb. Uh -huh, and then you will say. Would you buy a house? Would you buy a house? If you lived in the US, USA. If you live in the USA. Mm -hmm. That will be. Ah, miss, I uh, is something wrong. I miss the D. It has to be in the past, not in the present. Okay. Please uh, fix that. If you lived, lived. And. And Sarai, what will be number three? You will be healthier if you will not smoke. Uh huh. But uh, simple past negative. Simple past negative. Didn't smoke. Uh huh. Didn't. If you didn't smoke, mm -hmm. good, excellent, Ex excellent, sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, normally said Crespin, are you there? Norma? Help me with the microphones. Help me with the microphones. Uh huh. He will have more money. Uh, Catherine Vasquez, are you there? Uh huh. Well, I'm I'm working and uh, uh, sorry, but sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you're thank there. You. That's important. No, thanks to you. Thank you to you. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. someone. The ones that haven't participated, what would be number four? He, mm, he would ha have, would have more, more money, money if, if he didn't spend too much. Didn't spend too much, okay? So they are talking to me. If we not run, we not arrive. This is kind of tricky. Number five. If we won't run. Ah, but I remember that is the simple past tense. Simple. Uh, if we, if are, we didn't run. Uh -huh. If we didn't run. We, we wouldn't arrive on time. We wouldn't arrive on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so remember if uh, you see a negative, if you see the if clause, that means uh, I, I didn't, you didn't, uh, he didn't, and also if there is a condition, if not on the second part. Okay, the last one is a question. The last one was a question. No, Ezequiel, would you like to try with number six? Okay, who would like to try with number six? Would, would what would you read the book if they if they lend it to you lend it to you mm -hmm. so these are the conditional sentences do you have any question Do you have any question, guys? No question. 
No questions. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay. Uh, what is the learning objective of the conversation? The rest of the learning objective is about this uh, conversation about hypothetical events in the uh -huh. past. In the past. The past model school mm -hmm. soul now. Should have I don't know what is plus, plus. Uh, should have plus uh, past participle. So uh, yes. Okay. So what are we looking at over there on this conversation is this one. Let me uh, see. Put it a different color over there that you can identify what it is. See past models uh, will should have will will have or should have plus past participle of the verb. What is the past participle of B, for example? Been. Been. What is the past participle of uh of dry? Dry it. Dry. <laughs> Driven, 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 driven. And what is the past participle of go? Gone, gone. And what is the past participle of uh, see? Seen, seen, seen. Yes. Okay. So you have to be familiar with past participle, especially with the most common verbs. I will try to give you a list of next week for you just yeah, to please. have it as reference from the most. Uh, fix the most common by uh, regular verse, okay? Uh, I will okay. try to remember. In fact, I, I don't have anything to write over here. I guess so. Write it in your... In, in, your, in, my, in, my, in my weekly agenda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got it on the dollar city. Okay. I'm, make, I'm making propaganda and I will get in problem. So, <laughs> um, what do you see in the picture? A couple of ladies talking okay. about. Okay. Uh, a couple of ladies talking. Okay. Thank you, Don Vicente. And someone else, another volunteer. And where do you think they are? At the office. In a mall, I guess. On, on a mall. Okay. In the street. On the street. There's a house. Yes. Uh, okay. Ah, in a house. Yes. Okay. Thank you, No. Okay. Maybe. Let's see what are they talking about. Page 95, Exercise 7. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. Is your house guest still staying with you? No, after three weeks she finally left. Thank goodness. So how did you get rid of her? Well... I lied and told her my parents were coming for a visit and I needed the room. I probably shouldn't have lied. Now I feel bad. What would you have done? Oh, I would have told her to leave after a week. By the way, my father-in-law is coming to visit us next week. Can I move in with you for a few days? No way! <laughs> mm. One more time. Page 95, Exercise 7. Conversation, Part A. Listen and practice. Is your house guest still staying with you? No, after three weeks she finally left. Thank goodness. So how did you get rid of her? Well, I lied and told her my parents were coming for a visit and I needed the room. I probably shouldn't have lied. Now I feel bad. What would you have done? Oh, I would have told her to leave after a week. By the way, my father-in-law is coming to visit us next week. Can I move in with you for a few days? No way!
Okay, what are they talking about? Like three, uh, two or three volunteers, like three volunteers. He talked about but that uh, your father okay. you know, uh, is visited uh, the next week. Uh, and okay. He, uh, she had uh, a move in your food a uh, few days. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, her father in love is coming next week. And and what else? Someone else? Basically, Another basically she lied. Huh? I'm sorry? Okay, someone else? She, she had she had visit, so she lied. Ah, she lied. okay. Perfect. She got a Rome and uh, she wanted her to go away and she lied, right? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay, good. Thank you. And what did she this what did she tell the roommate? What did she tell the roommate? Uh she says uh that need the the empty room because mm -hmm. uh, it will be used by uh, his his family. Her okay. Family. Okay. She need that room because and uh, uh, someone is coming and so she wanted her out. Okay. So C models with wood should and have in plus participle and uh, let's see what is what are they like. Uh, okay. Page 95, exercise eight. Grammar focus. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to talk about imaginary or hypothetical actions in the past. What would you have done? I would have told her to leave. I wouldn't have done anything. What should I have done? You should have spoken to her about it. You shouldn't have lied about it. Page 95, Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Past Modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to talk about imaginary or hypothetical actions in the past. What would you have done? I would have told her to leave. I wouldn't have done anything. What should I have done? You should have spoken to her about it. You shouldn't have lied about it. Okay, this is like uh, que harías, right? Uh, what would you have done? I would have told her. What is this one? So we say on the first one it says, Use. Use would have plus past participle. Ah, uh, use you will have past participle. Well, thank you, Vicente. Uh, okay. Wendy, the, the question. What would you have done? Uh, Noe, the answer. Uh, Don Juan Antonio, the answer, I would have. I would have told her to leave. Okay. Uh, or, or I couldn't have done anything. Okay, good. And the other, the negative, Maria Jose? I, I wouldn't have said anything. I wouldn't have said anything. Yes, I would have spoken to her. Um, me faltó ahí la línea. So, uh, so after uh, would, uh, would have, we use past participle, 
or even with the negative. I wouldn't have said anything. Uh, uh, Claudia Maria, the inst instructions over there. You should have class past participle to make a strong suggestion. Ah, that is a suggestion, but that is not what would I have done. I would have spoken to her. I wouldn't have said anything. So what would be an strong suggestion? Uh, Jennifer, uh, Moset, read the question. What? What shall I have done? Aha. Uh -huh. With a strong suggestion, I use would or should? Sure. Should. I use should. So sure. uh, would is a suggestion, but it's not as strong according to what I found. Okay, uh -huh. okay. What should I have? It? What should I have done then? Okay. And then you said uh, Luis Alfredo Aguilar and you and the question. Yeah, you should have asked her to move to a hotel. Okay. You should ask her to move okay yeah. to a hotel. Okay, that is a strong oh. suggestion. Okay. That is a, a very strong suggestion. And uh, let's see. Uh, Sarai, what will be the, the negative? No sé por qué me okay. Should I have allowed her to say so long? Okay. You shouldn't have allowed her to stay so long. Stay so long. Okay, that is a strong, a very strong suggestion. So both of them are suggestions, but using should is, is more like seriously. Okay, hey man, what, I, what should I have done? <sighs> you should have a what? Uh, left, left it away, let's say a problem or anything. Okay, so that's see. Let's see what uh, I have rest. We have seven minutes. Ah, I have an exercise. This is in your manual. I think uh, uh, you had the manual over there, the material over there. Would you try yes, to do it? Yes. More? Uh -huh, more yes, than... I have. Okay, uh, let me do something. Uh, let's do the other first, okay? Let me go back. The second exercise, this one. Um, Page 90, 95. Uh -huh. uh, I, this is the word from the worksheet that I sent you, Don. don um, uh, this is from the uh, worksheet that I sent you, yes. Uh, that one you can you can do it at home, and uh, and and that one it has more than one possible answer. Okay, let me see this one. Okay, because this is only the verb. So the first conversation it says it says the cashier gave me gave, gave me too much change. What should I have? Um, to do. Huh? To do. Ah, but remember, um, but remember that we need to uh uh pass participle ah, verb on the answer. Uh -huh. Done. Ah, what should I what, have, what to should I, I have, have done? done? Okay, what should I have, I have done? done? You should have something. Said. Said, uh -huh, you should have said something. Okay. You shouldn't have taken. Uh, you okay. shouldn't okay. have taken. Okay. Taken. Uh -huh, taken you shouldn't have money. taken. Uh -huh. Number two, I ignore an email from someone. someone. Uh, what you have would you, what would you what have to, done? Uh, what would you have done? Mm -hmm. And I then he says, I would have 
reply. 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 I would have replied. So, okay. To the so person, the it just take a minute. Mm -hmm. You just take a minute. Number three, I was watching. I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should I have done? What should I have done? Okay. You should have taken mm -hmm. the call and call and and told, and told the, the person, person you about later. later. Mm -hmm. And number four. We, we left all our trash at the camp site. What would you, what have, would you done? have done? What would you have done? I would have. I would have taken. taken. Uh -huh, taken. It, it with, with me, me and throw yeah. and throw and throw it in a way later and uh, way later yes so, so that's that's the thing over there so it's the same one that uh you have over here okay the teacher borrowed my favorite book and spilled coffee all over if it uh -huh, all over it there are more than one possible answer. What will be the uh, possible? Uh -huh. Which letters? You should have spoken to him about it. I would have told her that I prefer something else. I would have spoken to the teacher about it. I would have waited for the honor to come. There, she, I guess. Uh huh. Let Let's see another another possibility. I would have spoken to the teacher about it. Okay. Uh. So I would. So you can use I should have spoken to him about it. More than or more let than one. See. Yeah. More than one is is correct. I would have spoken to the teacher about it, and I wouldn't have said anything. So more than one answer is possible over there. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let me see if I can open the file. Claudia, are you sick? Why? Uh, okay. <laughs> this is uh this is the file that I send you for you to practice, okay? If you have okay. already done it, I will be okay. If it's not, here is the conversation, here is the grammar, the exercise that we did over there, the examples, how to say it and what to say it, um, the exercises we did. Uh, if you no los hicieron acá, please do not do your uh, final test before doing this one. The, I'm sure this one will help you a lot, okay? So there are okay. there are some exercises, some explanation. The answers are over there, and the, you can put the answers over here. It's not a problem that you write to there. You see, you just go like this and say that, okay? I I you go like uh, so the very say say and the past participle of say is. What is the past participle? Say, say. Said. It sounds said. 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 Uh -huh. As I said, I will uh, try to prepare at least the most common verse and, and make yeah, a, please, something. We need. Yeah. Okay. Let me just uh, pass the, the, the assignment, attendance. The attendance. Okay. Ana Sonia Elizabeth Martinez. Andrea Esther Acosta Hernandez. Am I in the correct one? Brenda Claribel Mejia. I'm here, mister. Okay, Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present, mister. Uh, uh, Claudia Maria Gomez Canizales. Present, teacher. Edgar, Ma Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Edgar is not in the course uh, again. More. Ah, okay. Eugenio... Eugenio Ernesto Martínez. Present, mister. Okay, Giovanni José González. 
Jennifer Mauset Arevalo. Present, Mister. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present, teacher. Catherine Mariel Vázquez Flores. Present, teacher. Uh, Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar de Najarro. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present, teacher. María José Najarro Mengíbar. Present, teacher. Eh, Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present, teacher. Norma Lisette Crespín Orellana. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Saraí Noemí Trejo Suyoa. Present teacher. Vicente Israel Sánchez Herazo. Present teacher. Wendy Lizette Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, thank you very. Let me. Uh, what am I doing over here? Thank you for your support. Okay. Uh, no, my pleasure. Please do not miss a uh, good luck in your task over there. I hope that you did good. Uh, you do good. And I'll see you on Monday. Please do not miss classes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, Bye. Have a nice weekend. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye.